Welcome back, Pokemon fans. My name is Angel of the Night 091, and uh, you're watching my YouTube channel. Uh, this is just an update video, guys. Uh, I've been away for a little bit, just mainly because I've had an issue with a computer system. Uh, not just a computer system, the computer system. Uh, the computer system that fell for me was the uh, the Arc. Uh, the Arc. If you guys don't know about it, it's my eight-core AMD bulldozer build with 32 gigs of RAM and uh, a ton of SSDs. Uh, but that's my main recording system, so it did go down. Uh, I, however, uh, did order some new uh, computer parts, new case, new build. Everything's new. Uh, I have it here. It's all built, ready to go. Just I don't have my graphic cards here yet. So to just kind of give an update on what the actual build is, uh, I went with a Fantex uh, Entho Primo case. Uh, full tower chassis, all aluminum. Uh, fantastic case, by the way. I loved building in that case. Um, I got an Intel i7 uh, 6-core processor, clocked at 3.6 gigahertz. I plan to overclock it to, uh, to about 4 to 4.6, depending on what the water cooler uh, will provide me. Uh, so that was a 6850K uh, Intel processor. Uh, I did, however, get 128 gigs of DDR4 RAM, which is the 2400 megahertz. Um, I went with an MSI motherboard. I've never purchased an MSI board before. Uh, so I thought this time would be kind of interesting. Uh, so I got their godlike X99 board. Uh, so this is an EATX board. So it's their larger, larger build uh, of the pro of the uh, motherboard. So I'm very interested uh, to see how this board is going to handle. Uh, to my understanding, it's got five um, PCIe 16 slots, and it also has an M2 socket right on the board, which is fantastic. I've never used an M2 uh, in any of my systems before, so I've been uh, researching it, and it's supposed to be a lot faster than a regular 2.5 inch SSD. Uh, so I actually did go with an M2 uh, SSD uh, solid state drive, uh, of course, from uh, Samsung. So I've got uh, a 256 gig uh, solid state. Uh, other than that, uh, to kind of go into more details, uh, the two parts that I'm waiting for right now are my uh, graphic cards. So I have two uh, 1080 uh, Seahawks coming in the mail uh, for me fairly shortly. Uh, one's ordered from Amazon, and I'll be honest with you, I had the worst experience with Amazon, but uh, it is on the way from what I can tell. Uh, and then the other card I had to get from eBay, as every supplier was sold out at the time of trying to order it. Uh, so I will actually have some video footage uh, created to show the build. I took pictures all along the way, uh, so I will be building a video, uh, building a video, making a video just like I did with the Arc. So my new system build, I've called it Installation 4 because it's my fourth uh, fourth uh, computer build. And I named it after the first Halo from Halo Combat Evolved, because I'm a huge Halo fan. Uh, so Installation 4 will be coming in fairly shortly. I'm hoping that the graphic cards will be here by next Wednesday, but again, everything's coming from the US, so I'm not sure if it will get through customs in time. So we'll see what happens. Uh, in the meantime as well, uh, you'll probably notice the camera is a little bit clearer, uh, better quality, of course. Um, the coloring is actually <laughs> like pro. And of course, you can see me uh, in 60 frames per second. Uh, I've actually got a GoPro Hero 4 uh, Silver actually hooked up right now through a Razer Ripsaw. And uh, I am loving this GoPro. So I uh, have a big staff event coming up um, this weekend. Uh, we're going to a place called Crossfire uh, Gaming. I think it is Crossfire Gaming. Uh, but they do paintball. Uh, so I have a nice harness uh, for my head, of course, uh, to put this GoPro on. Uh, so I'm going to be recording the GoPro uh, the entire time that we're doing this paintball, zombie paintball, actually. Uh, we are doing zombie paintball. So uh, I'm going to be recording this the entire time, and I'm going to put together a first-person shooter action video. Uh, along with me, my buddy uh, Shaddy from work. Uh, Agent Simone is going to also be wearing his GoPro and I'll have his footage as well in order to edit and play around with so I'm hoping that it'll actually turn out okay and uh, I'm really pumped up so the idea behind this is uh, your survivors and uh, you have to make your way through um, 
the zombie apocalypse or the zombie infested woods at this point uh, to try to find clues to get the vaccine uh, to make yourself immune to the zombie infection. Uh, so that is going to come uh, fairly soon, I hope. Uh, once I get my new system built, I'll be able to edit videos and render them a lot quicker as well. So that's coming up fairly shortly. Uh, in the meantime, guys, we are going to go through and do a random battle. I know you guys are probably wondering, why have I not gotten into the battle? Well, I can't seem to talk <laughs> and think at the same time. Uh, I know it sounds pretty crazy. Uh, yes, I do approve of automatic video translate, uh, transition. Uh, so yeah, basically I'm going to go through and we're going to do some... Uh, we're going to do a double battle here, I think. Uh, we're going to battle, double battle, there we go. I need to register... Oh, I don't want to do breeding battle, what am I doing? Go back, free battle. <laughs> oh my. It would probably help if I actually paid attention to what I was clicking on double battle and we're gonna go with the battle box so the battle box is my team from the Sinnoh classic you guys haven't actually been able to see much of that yet uh, I'm actually behind in all of my recording and all of my rendering uh, so right now I'm still trying to render uh, Kanto videos I'm still trying to render Johto and uh, then of course there's Sinnoh now if I'm not mistaken um, Nova is coming up around the 20th of August, so I will be uh, recording uh, some of that as well. Not some of that, actually all of that. <laughs> so um, I'm having some difficulty with the laptop. Uh, I find that it gets overworked very, very quickly uh, in even trying to get this video to record. This is actually my like sixth, seventh time trying to render this. Not render this, actually, try to record this. Um, I think what's then going to end up happening is I think I'm going to have a motherboard failure onto this Razer laptop, uh, which is fair enough. I've had it for over four years, and uh, when it goes, unfortunately, it's going to go. Uh, <laughs> I just I just put about six grand in building the the new the new tower, <laughs> six grand into installation four, um, so money I didn't have. <laughs> All for, all for YouTube, guys. All for YouTube. All for you guys. Um, I really want to get back into streaming every day again, uh, which is why I got the better camera, the better system. Um, so yeah. We'll see if we can get connected here for a double battle. Um, so yeah, once the, once the system gets built, uh, the graphic cards are here, I will be back into uh, streaming and editing videos like there's no tomorrow. Uh, the other thing I could also do as well with the uh, GoPro Hero 4, uh, if I wear the headset, I could actually go out to uh, Pokemon Go events that we do with uh, people from work, uh, some good friends of mine as well. Uh, also, uh, just random vlogs while I do Pokemon Go, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, unfortunately, a trainer cannot be found. Uh, let's do a free battle here. Let's see if maybe we can do a single battle instead, or maybe a triple. Let's do a triple battle. Let's go with the battle box. So yeah, <laughs> I'm, I, I'd like to see if we could actually get something done up. Uh, something where I'm a little bit more interactive. Uh, the other thing as well as I was thinking is that when I stream, I could also use uh, the GoPro sometimes. And I may be able uh, to show you guys my view uh, from my setup from time to time. So uh, we're going to start with one GoPro for now. Because, <laughs> I mean, one GoPro, it cost me over $500, I think it was. And then, of course, I have the Razer Ripsaw, which is about a $250 purchase, I think it is. So, it is not cheap to do this, guys. It is not cheap to YouTube, but it is uh, very fun. I do enjoy YouTube, guys. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love doing this. Uh, it's just I don't always have the time. <laughs> but um, there's some stuff that's been going on in my life, of course. Uh, and, of course, I think things are going to get better. I've, I seem to have a more positive uh, outlook, more positive uh, view, and a more positive mind. I've been looking at a lot of uh, motivational uh, posts and listening to a lot of uh, audio uh, that kind of helps you think, you know what I mean? 
All right, so uh, enough about my bullshit with life. Let's get into the battle. Uh, so right now I have Cresselia, Infernape, and uh, Gastrodon out uh, onto the field. It looks like there's Cresselia, Auroras, and Greninja. Uh, so let's go in and take out the Auroras. Uh, we're going to go for the stockpile onto the Gastrodon. And we're going to go for... Uh, oh, I can't go for Helping Hand on the... Okay, uh, let's go for... Let's just go for the Protect with the Cresselia because of the Greninja, of course. Uh, so here we are, we've got the Protect off, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and we're going to get that Flare Blitz. So I'm hoping that this is going to be enough to take out the Auroras. Now I know that it is also a Rock type, if I'm not mistaken, so it may not fully take it in, but it's going to do a very uh, a decent amount of damage. Uh, and of course we got that Recoil damage coming into play here as well, uh, which we're uh, unfortunate enough to still... Uh, I think I'm holding a Life Orb onto it. Um, Ooh, what is that? I did not see. It looks like the Cresselia is going to go for the Calm Mind. Um, I should be okay once I get the Garchomp out into play as well. But the idea here is that we have to try to keep the uh, Cresselia in uh, play for as long as possible. We want to get that uh, Helping Hand off here as well. Um, I'm hoping... <laughs> Once I get things going here, I gotta get a little tripod for the uh, GoPro, so that way it's more face-on. Um, but one thing I can definitely say uh, with the GoPro uh, is that it actually detects my green screen a lot better than the webcam. And uh, I'll show you guys an example of the webcam here shortly after. Uh, we will add it as a source just to compare the two. But you'll definitely see a big color difference and a big frame difference as well. Uh, so, all right, let's see here. We're gonna let's go for the flare blitz onto the Cresselia to get some damage. We've got one stockpile, so we're gonna go for the skull to finish off the Auroras. Uh and the Cresselia. Well, let's go for the helping hand with the Gastrodon. All right, there we go. We got the helping hand, and uh, oh, it looks like the Aurora is going for the protect. So that is bull uh, for us. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do anything here. <laughs> All right, so at least the Cresselia did survive. I'll let you guys know the big ones here in just a moment. That Flare Blitz uh, was able to take the Cresselia down to about the half damage here. Unfortunately, the Life Orb and the Recoil are taking us down to 21 hit points, and we've got that annoying beeping going on in the background. Uh, but we won't have to listen to it next turn because they just took out the, uh, the Infernape. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, Scald, of course, the Auroras is protecting itself. Not much can be done there, I'm afraid. Let's see here, let's go for... Let's get the Porygon out here. Alright, there we go. Uh, so with the Porygon, let's just go for the Discharge here. Now Gastrodon is ground, of course, so it shouldn't be a big problem. Let's get the Skull for the Auroras. And let's get... Uh, Let's get a helping hand onto the Gastrodon. Now, if you guys are wondering how much damage that did to my Cresselia, I'm at 161 hit points out of 227. So I'm still well in the green. <laughs> All right, there we go. We get the helping hand. Uh, that's going to raise up uh, the attack power of the next turn. Dark Pulse coming in. And uh, Cresselia is still holding on there, just under half the hit points. Uh, there we go with the Discharge. That should be able to get some damage off here as well. We got the Paralysis onto the Auroras, which is great. Unfortunately, no Paralysis onto the Cresselia, and uh, of course, it's going to get that Moonlight off there. Going to get that uh, hit points uh, back. Not good. <laughs> oh well. Uh, Gastrodon is going to hold on there from the Ice Beam, and we're going to be able to finish off the Auroras with the Scald, so... Not too concerned over the Greninja still. 
Uh, probably going to try to do a rotation out. Maybe see if I can get Cresselia over to the middle or even the left side. I think I can. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, we'll, we'll definitely see what we can do there. So, I can definitely say that right now, as it is, um, I, I ran into a little bit of a complication with the GoPro. Uh, just with the recording portion, um, what ends up happening is that sometimes it'll lock up or freeze. And I think that's just because of a cable issue that I had. So, uh, what I have to do is I actually have to have um, the GoPro uh, only plugged into the HDMI adapter. So, i got to get another HDMI adapter in order to do this. Uh, the one that I have, the adapter is too thick, too wide to be able to fit the power cable in, so I think that's kind of caused a little bit of a complication there. Uh, so right now as it is, I can't do anything with my uh, Pokemon. Let's go to the Size Shock and onto the Ditto. Uh, basically, we have to get the Ditto out of here because it's taken over the Storm Drain. Uh, and it looks like they're going to team up and try to attack the, uh, <laughs> the Gastrodon. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot that Ditto takes the typing with its, uh, imposter. Ooh, taken down a Gastrodon. You buggers. Alright. I think it also had copied my stats, too, when I did that, so... Uh, when I did the imposter. Yeah, it totally did. Okay, let's go to Garchomp. I'm not that I'm not that uh, skilled in uh, triple battles, so this doesn't surprise me that I'm doing terrible. <laughs> oh, I want to get that ditto over there. Let's get the helping hand for the Garchomp. Okay, Dragon Claw. We should be able to do some decent damage to that ditto, uh, and I think the Tri Attacks can be able to finish it off. Raise a special attack, that is brilliant. Unfortunately, it's going to hit most of my pokes. There's a try attack, please finish off. Uh, ditto. There we go. <laughs> At least we got the ditto taken out, because that was the most important part. Um, I should be able to still hold on against the Cresselia, and most likely the Greninja, if I can get an attack off. I think I was able to outspeed it from the Garchomp, so if I do... Oh. Uh, Metagross, okay. So I want to do a recovery here from the Porygon. Uh, the big issue right now is going to be that Metagross. Okay, let's get a helping hand here first to the Garchomp. I'm going to go for the Dragon Claw to try to take out the Greninja, because... To be honest with you, it it needs to go down. It, it's got to go out. Uh, with the Porygon, I am going to get the Recover off, I'm hoping, uh, which I should be able to combat the Metagross shortly after. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have any Megas on my team, so that could be uh, a big issue for me. Alright, there we go, Helping Hand. Oh, it's going to go for that Bullet Punch. <laughs> Finishing off the Porygon, that is unfortunate. But I do have Electivires, so I am not too concerned. Uh, I'm hoping that Greninja is down. There we go, taking out that Greninja. <laughs> Get out of here, you crazy bugger. <laughs> All right, there we go, still holding on. Uh, I'm afraid though that the Bullet Punch is gonna be able to finish it off, so that is not gonna be good for the Garchomp. <laughs> Lugia. Okay, let's see if I can get the... I'll see if I can get a Dragon Claw off. I'm pretty sure it's going to Bullet Punch. But... I might survive, you never know. Probably not, but you never know. <laughs> totally dead. Look at that. I am toast. And Earthquake. Hopefully that'll be able to take the Metagross. Ugh. 
Yikes. Lugia is going to go for that Calm Mind. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't have a good feeling about that. Don't you dare take out that Electivire. Are you... Oh no, Balloon popped. Not much that I'm going to be able to do there, I'm afraid. Looks like the Lugia is going to go for that Calm Mind again. Brutal. Psychic. Oh, man. I have nothing for these three psychic folks. I don't even have Moonlight. Like, that's... That's how screwed I am right now. <laughs> that's okay, though. That is okay because this was uh, this video was necessary. Uh, I had to update you guys on to uh, basically what's been going on. Um, I don't want you guys to think that I disappeared because I definitely didn't. Um, but it's all about <laughs> right now. It's all about the computer, guys. It's all about trying to get that system up and running. So uh, I do have a video where I sh I had the GoPro on. Uh, in order to test, so I'm going to upload that as well, just to make sure YouTube uploads it right, so just kind of a little test, you know what I mean? Uh, so it should be kind of interesting to see. Uh, I don't know uh, how the recording is going to work on Sunday, but we'll see. I think there's a night vision category. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Again, uh, I apologize I haven't been uploading. There are reasons for it, of course, so... Don't, uh, don't think that I disappeared. I will be back uh, hopefully next week with uh, a brand new system to be able to record and stream from. Uh, and uh, hopefully everything will be ironed out so that way there will be no problems when I actually go through and do the actual uh, stream. Uh, for video rendering, of course, I've been trying to edit them on the laptop. Uh, but for rendering purposes, of course, I haven't been able to render them. Uh, the system just doesn't seem to like it. I find that Windows 10 seems to restart um, and glitch the process uh, with this system here because it's uh, Windows 10 Home. Uh, with the Pro Edition, of course, I have a lot more um, uh, abilities to turn off updates and the shutdowns and the restarts. So hopefully that will actually be fixed uh, and I'll be rendering again fairly soon. Uh, to show you guys the difference that the GoPro and the webcam make, I will show you here right now. Uh, so here we are, uh, just the color differences. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, let's get the chroma key working here again. Uh, so, if I'm not mistaken, it is 35, 37 for numbers, I think it is. So, you guys can obviously tell the difference in the coloring and what looks a little more natural. Um, the webcam, it does a good job. Uh, as long as you have the right settings. Um, but I find that the GoPro um, has better color for it. Uh, so there's more saturation, I find, in the webcam. And the brightness right now is actually through the roof. So <laughs> it, uh, if I were to change the brightness just to kind of give an idea here I could lower the brightness down to that of uh, that of the GoPro but if it's at the exact same lighting the exact same colors um, as you can see like in the beard I actually have a brown beard brown hair and the webcam on the left that's actually uh, not the proper colors at all so as you can see there is a reason I'm gonna go with the GoPro just because it's uh, a higher quality, higher um, higher graphic, higher picture. Uh, you can tell around the chair, if you look at the chair um, just behind me, it doesn't glitch out as much uh, during the actual um, green screen. So it, 
my mind's just going here right now. I'm just trying to... I'm basically talking just... Nothing is scripted, guys. I am not a scripter. I cannot script a video and follow it. It's just how it is. My mind just wanders. Um, but at least you guys know right now that <laughs> I am still here. <laughs> so, um, we will get some more videos up next week, hopefully, once those cards come in, I'll get the system built. Uh, I will have a video about the build here shortly. The, um, the recording for the, uh, zombie paintball will be uploaded as well. I'm going to try to get a good recording. Hopefully it turns out, like I said, I'm going to have two, uh, two video footages of that, so... We will get that going. I'm actually going to go in a white shirt and a tie uh, to this event with uh, black pants. My actual uniform for work. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get an old one. I'm going to rip it up and tear it and splatter some red paint onto it. Make it look like blood. Uh, and I'm going to go full character, guys. I'm going to go full zombie apocalypse uh, here. So uh, that should be good. I'll take a bunch of pictures and, and stuff like that. So it should be interesting video to see. I've never had a video like that before. So I want to branch out into a little bit more different things as well. So uh, it's probably weird seeing two recordings here of me. So I'm going to get rid of the Logitech uh, C920 footage. Uh, and that's going to be it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you press the like button if you enjoyed it. Give me some feedback, what you guys like, what you guys don't like, uh, what you guys think about the build, what you guys you know, like, what you don't. Uh, if you guys want to see this zombie uh, apocalypse paintball series, that's going to be kind of interesting. Let me know what you guys want. Um, and like I said, hopefully I'll be back next week. I hope you guys uh, take care and uh, have an awesome evening.